Welcome to this class, which will focus on sciatica pain. So if you have a strap, that will definitely help in the practice today. Let's get started. Find a comfortable seat, sitting in mountain pose, shoulders over hips, knees over feet, roll those shoulders back, and either close your eyes or look downcast, and we'll start with the centering. Breathe in with the nose and exhale with a sigh. Let that practice go. Notice how you feel. Notice if your breath is different, deeper, slower. Let your awareness travel through your body. Notice any areas of pain or tension. Exhaling that tension or discomfort or illness away. And open your eyes, come back into the room. If you don't mind, I'm gonna sit with my legs tucked up. You can stay where you are because we're gonna start by warming up the whole body before we get to our sciatica portion. Inhale and lift the head and chest, stretching the chin and tuck the chin, lengthening the whole back of the body. Inhale, stretch up, look up. Exhale down. Inhale, lengthen the front of the body. Exhale, chin to chest. Come back to center. Inhale, look over your shoulder. And exhale, look over the other way. And back to center, lower the ear to one side. Let's roll the head forward and lower the ear the other way. And roll the head forward, ear to shoulder. And roll the head forward and back to center. Let's squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale down. You can continue with that falling out breath, breathing in through the nose, exhaling. One more. And let's circle one shoulder and then the other. Exhale. 
and then go back the other way. Cross elbows and we'll choo choo train. Reverse. And this feels more like a train too, sliding your hands apart till your fingers are cupped and then we'll work the wrists and the elbows a little more, wringing those hands and opening up. And then we'll take the cups in reverse and wring the wrists and elbows this way. Let's reach out, stop traffic, point the hands down. Stop traffic, point the hands down. Stop traffic, point the hands down. Let's circle the wrists. and circle back and spread the fingers wide and bring the thumb across in and out, touching the palm of your hand. And then first finger in and out, touching the palm of your hand. Ring finger up and down, touching the palm of your hand. That was ring finger, that's middle finger, excuse me. <laughs> ring finger and pinky. Good, and release, take a breath. And let's get our legs into the air. So, feet on the floor, let's stretch one leg out, point the toes up, slide the leg back, put the foot on the floor. Point, flex, slide back, 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 put on the floor. Other side, point, flex, slide back, stiff. Point, flex, slide back, point, flex. <laughs> it's a tongue twister, put on the floor. Point, flex, slide back, put on the floor. Good, and let's windshield wiper our knees. and sit up tall in the hands to the heart and we'll do some sun salutes today. We're warming up the whole body before we get specific with our sciatic work. Inhale tall, exhale, come forward halfway, hands in goddess position. Bring the hands to the knees, slide down. Inhale, reach up, exhale down. Inhale, twist the other way. Come on down, inhale all the way back up, and hands to heart. Let's do three more. Inhale up, exhale, elbows back, come forward with a straight back. Bring your hands to your knees and slide down. And maybe you don't slide down as high as, as low as I do, that's perfectly okay. One hand to the floor or your leg as you stretch up in a spinal twist, come on down. Inhale, twist, and down. Deep breath in. If you can't use your arms, you can press your hands into your legs to come up. And down. Two more. Take it as slow as you like, coming into goddess pose, hands to the knees, sliding down. Inhale, open. And open and down and either slide the hands up the legs or reach up and down. Last one, inhale, reach up, 
Exhale, belly in, elbows back, squeeze those shoulder blades, hands to knees, curl down. Inhale, spinal twist, and down. Spinal twist, and down. Inhale, slide up or reach up, and hands to heart. Take it in. All right, good work. Grab your strap. You should feel all warmed up and ready to go. And the strap is just to help you if you can't reach things. It's, this is your extra reaching, okay? So we're gonna start sitting in mountain pose. We're gonna send the right leg out, sorry, left leg out with the toes up. We're gonna cross the right ankle over the left with the knee down. So we're pressing into that knee, draw the belly in, Come forward slightly with a straight back till you feel a stretch in the back of the leg, maybe a stretch in that ankle, uh, ankle, hip, <laughs> and shoulders, knees, and toes. Coming far, as far forward as feels good to you. One way you could use the strap to make it more intense is to put the strap under the ball of the foot and help you flex that foot more. Inhale back up. We're gonna bring the ankle higher up if we can. So again, you can use the strap to help you pull that ankle up above your knee. So you can stay with the first variation or bring your ankle up over your knee and you can hold with the strap or with your hand once you got it there. We're letting this knee reach towards the floor pulling this ankle in, flexing the foot. And again, you can be using the strap here if you want. Lots of choices. Inhale tall, relax the muscle of the thigh and come forward if you like. Keep pressing the sacrum into your back so you're not rounding your back like that. You wanna have a nice flat back lifting through the chest. Opening the hip joint. And come on up. Release the strap. One more variation. So if your foot is on your ankle, keep it there. If it's on your knee, keep it there. Bend the knees till the foot is on the floor. The foot is not under the knee, it's at a 45 degree angle. So the foot is in front of the knee there. We're pressing into the foot, pressing the hip creases back, pressing the knee down, drawing the belly in to lengthen the lower back. So again, we're not rounding, pressing the top of the sacrum into the back. Coming forward just a little bit. So there's a lot of pieces to this. Press into the foot, press into the knee, press into the sac, uh, press the lower back into the body so that you're not rounding it. Sacrum's pressing, so you're not rounded. Pressing the top of the sacrum forward and lifting the chest. And then coming forward as much as feels good to you. And inhale up and slide that leg down. And take a breath and notice how the two sides of your body feel. So we did three variations on one side. We'll do the same three on the other side. So we're gonna stretch out the right leg, cross the left ankle over with the knee out to the side. Inhale tall and come forward with a nice straight spine. Then if you can, you'll slide your ankle up to your knee if you need to use the strap to do that. Use the strap to get the ankle up to your knee, or you can use the strap to help you flex your foot. 
Inhale, tall, stretch out. Gently press that knee down. Press the top of your sacrum into your back. Lift your chest. Come forward only as far as feels interesting to you. So you could be doing a second set with your foot on the ankle. That's perfectly okay. Inhale back up, release the strap. So either your foot's on your ankle or your knee. If you can keep the foot on your knee, if it's there, bend your knee until your foot comes flat on the floor. The foot is not under the knee. It's about 45 degree angles in front of you. Inhale tall, letting that knee come down. Drawing the belly in to support long lower back. Press into the foot. Flex that foot. Choose how far forward you want to come with a nice straight spine. Inhale up, uncross your legs and do whatever you need to do, shake it out, give it a little twist, whatever. Um, we're gonna come to standing. Let's do some sit to stands to get there. How about eight? So inhale the arms up, shoulders down, belly strong. Again, if that's too many sets, do less or just press your hands into the floor and just lift your butt off the floor, uh, hands into the chair and just lift up a little bit, engaging your legs. Here we go. One, draw the belly in, press the hips back, sit down nice and slow. And two, and three, And four, when you come to full standing, tuck your tailbone, lift your abdominals, press your hips back to sit down. And five, nice and slow with control. And six, and seven, you're doing great. And eight. We made it. We're up. Good job. Shake it out. Okay. If you need to stand behind your chair for mountain pose, please go ahead. I'll stand this way. Let's take a nice deep breath. Find into dasana. Inhale up onto our toes. And exhale, nice and slow down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Take your time moving with your breath. Remember, you could be sitting in a chair and just lifting your heels and pressing into your toes if that's better for you. One more, find your drishti, and if you like, release your hands from the chair or one hand from the chair, Oops. <laughs> or one finger, whatever works for you today. And, uh, and shake it out. All right, so we're gonna do a forward fold, and it's gonna be hard for you to see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna do it first. I'm gonna do it facing you with my hands on the floor, but then, I'll turn around and I'll do it with my hands on the chair. And that's how you'll be doing it as well. But I think you'll see it better if I do it this way first. So just watch and think about it. We come into a forward fold with hands on the chair. 
I think, okay. And then I'm going to bend the knees slightly. I'm going to press the left hip back, straightening that leg. We're then going to roll onto the outside of that leg and walk around in a diagonal in the opposite direction. Keep pressing the hip back, reaching away from the leg or bowing towards it or walking around more. So we're stretching the outside of that leg. We're gonna come back to center and I'll do the other side, I'll roll up. I'll just show you the other side and then we'll do it again using a chair, but I just wanted you to get the idea. So we're gonna roll down, hands on the chair. Bend the knees slightly, then straighten the right leg, roll onto the outside of the right foot, walk your hands in a diagonal away from that foot, keep pressing into that hip crease, reaching your hands up further away or closer, whatever feels good to you. Place the foot back on the floor, come back to center, inhale up. Just gonna pause the recording and see if you have any questions. All right. So I'm just assuming you'd rather have your hands on the chair than the floor, but if you're flexible enough to use the floor, go right ahead. So starting in Tadasana, come on down. Bend the knees slightly. And then we're gonna straighten the left leg. We're going to roll onto the outside of the left leg and walk ourselves towards the right leg so that you're stretching the outside of that leg. Again, if you can get your hand to the floor or two hands to the floor, go right ahead and do that. Go further away or stretch around more. Figure out. If you're facing the seat of the chair rather than the side of the chair, it'll give you more options of how to move your body. I'm just trying to make this work with a chair because it's you know usually done this way on the floor. But we're stretching the outside of the leg. Find how you can make it work for you. We've got one knee bent, we're working towards the bent knee, pressing back into the straight leg rolled onto the outside of that foot. Place the foot on the floor, come back to your chair, roll yourself up. Mm, take a moment so you don't get dizzy. Come around to the other side. You can feel that nice and intense, right? Good work. Okay, so we're coming down either to the seat of the chair or the floor if you're that flexible, or one hand on the floor. I kind of like that option. Bending the knees slightly, pressing the opposite hip back, hip back for me, it's the right hip, and rolling onto the outside of the right foot. Then we're moving our body away from that straight leg, pressing the hip back, bending over this leg. And again, you can use your chair or the floor. If you're facing the chair rather than the side of the chair, you'll probably have more options for movement. But the idea is to stretch the outside of that back hip. Keep pressing back into the hip crease. Walking your body in a diagonal away from the straight leg. And put your foot on the floor and very slowly, so you don't get dizzy, roll your way up. 
coming back into Tadasana. Uh, shake it out if you need to, and how about a little bit of hip circles? Again, if you don't, if you need to hold on to the chair, you can hold on to the chair and do hip circles, or hold on to your sacrum and do hip circles. And we'll hip circle the other way. And we're going to do another figure four. So grab your strap again in case you need that for help. So standing to the side of your chair, I'm going to again do face front first. I'm going to turn my knee out to the side like that. I think it's like a bit there. Or if you can get your knee on the chair, we're coming into a tree pose. Again, if you need the strap to help you get your ankle up, put the strap under your ankle. So obviously you can't be behind your chair for this one, but you could be at the side of the chair, holding the back or holding the arm, or you could just have your toe on the floor with the knee out to the side against the chair there. Okay. If you can, you'll bring your opposite arm up and stretch over. And you could be behind the chair if you have to be with your foot on the floor and holding the chair with both hands. Inhale back up and slide that knee forward and down. Woo, swish the hips. And we'll do the other side. So again, you could be just next to the chair holding onto the back with the toe on the floor and the knee out to the side against the chair. Or if you can, you're sliding your knee up onto the chair, but against the outside of your calf. Finding tree pose. And if you can, bringing one arm up overhead and stretching to the side over your bent knee. You know, opening up this side of the body. Opening up that hip crease. And inhale up. And bring that knee forward and down and shake it out. So I'm going to offer you a challenge. You may or may not want to take it. So you could be behind your chair, but again, I'll be at the side so you can see it. So we're going to bend the knees slightly. Think of chair pose. Okay. Crossing your foot over with the toe on the floor could be your pose. Or bringing your heel up against above your knee. And again, if you need to use the strap to get that foot up, So the, the option is to have the foot on the floor with the knees crossed, knee back, standing like a step, or bringing that foot up above. Press that knee back, draw the belly in, lengthen the lower back, but don't tuck the tailbone. Lift through the chest. Find your drishti and breathe. For some reason, I find myself picking my toes up, both because this foot is flexed and the toes are back. I'm flexing the standing foot as well, which is fine because it's bringing your weight back onto your heel. So you're opening that hip joint. This is intense. So again, if you just want to have your foot on the floor, go for that. And let's release that leg down, straighten up. Whew. Good work, everybody. Let's try the other side. So once again, you can just cross your ankles, knees slightly bent, knee out to the side. 
four to bring your foot up against above your knee. Drop your hips back like chair pose. Press that knee down. Find your drishti. Breathe into this lovely opening of the hips. Doing a lot of work today. Good work. And release, straighten up, come back to Tadasana. And let's come sit back down on our chairs. Good work. Okay. Sitting in mountain pose towards the front of your chair. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together. The toes are on the floor. Unless you're a real ballerina, you can point your toes. You can flex your feet, toes on the floor, pressing those knees back, opening the inner groins. Sit up tall, relax your shoulders down. If you like, close your eyes. And open your eyes, bring your hands to the seat of the chair and press one leg out with the toes up. Press the other leg out with the toes up, roll the toes back and down. Hold on to the chair so you don't slide off. Deep breaths, draw the belly in and up, shoulders down, breathe. Rolling the toes back, opening the inner thighs towards the ceiling. If you have a kind of chair where you're worried about falling off of the chair, you can do this with your knees bent. Let's do that next, everybody. Let's slide those legs back in with the feet flat on the floor. Bring the hands inside. And we'll press the knees back. Stretch up tall. And release. Let's walk ourselves over to the corner of our chair so we can either be sitting like this with both feet on the floor or bending the knee towards the floor or stretching the leg out. Let's turn towards the front knee, doing that lovely stretch in the front of the thigh there. Let's bring the arm up overhead and stretch towards the back of the chair. Inhale back up and turn towards the back of the chair coming into the spinal twist. Inhale back to center, bring that foot in, turn it around, take a breath. Notice the opening in that hip joint and we'll walk ourselves around the other way. And again, you could be planted right here or point the knee down or stretch the leg straight. Turn towards your bent knee in front. Inhale your arm up, reach over towards the back of the chair.
Inhale up, bring your hands down and twist towards the back of the chair. Inhale, unwind, bring that knee in, place that foot on the floor, walk yourself back to a wide-legged position. Press the knees back and come forward with a nice straight spine. And then round over. And again, your rounding over might not be this deep. That's okay. Wherever you are, you're pressing your knees back, opening the inner loins. And slowly roll yourself back up. Inhale back to center. And we'll end with some more spinal twists, which again, open the outside of the hip. So let's start by crossing the left ankle over the right leg. Bring your hand across, twist to the back of the chair. Inhale back to center. Either do a second set of back or cross your knees. Bring your hand to the outside of your knee. Spinal twist. Inhale back to center, stay there. Or uncross your legs and give that leg a hug. Hugging it with the opposite arm and the spinal twist. You're pulling your knee towards the midline. Stay there, try to come back to center, stay there, or with the leg in the air, cross the leg over so that your ankle is against your knee, pulling the knee to the midline. Inhale tall and exhale twist. We did four variations. Feel the stretch on the outside of that leg. Inhale back to center. Uncross. Shake it out. Wiggle your butt. And we'll do the other side. You should feel a lot of energy right there in that hip. So again, four variations. You can stay with the first one if you like. Just crossing your ankles, squeezing your knees. Cross the hand across. Spinal twist. Inhale back to center. Stay here or cross your knees. Bring your arm across. Press against the side or back of your chair. Inhale back to center. Stay there or uncross your legs and give that leg a hug. Hug that leg in with the opposite hand and spinal twist. Inhale back to center. Last option, cross your legs over with the knee up so the ankle is against your knee. Hug your knee across, inhale tall, exhale, rotate.
You're pulling your knee across your body, really a little stretch on the outside of that leg. Inhale back to center, release your leg, do a little chair dance. Ah, if there's anything else your body needs, please move and stretch in that way. Grab what you need for warmth and comfort in Shavasana. And we'll close our eyes and take in what we've done today. And stay here as long as you like. When you're ready, slowly begin to bring movement back into your body. Perhaps during that Shavasana, you noticed a lot of energy in your hips and outer thighs. I know I did. Remember, if your sciatica problem was caused by an accident or an injury, please see a medical practitioner. But if it's just a question of sitting too much, then these simple exercises should help relieve your sciatic pain. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.